Mike Wayne's been taking to Twitter lately. He's trying to figure out what the community would like or what the community would want uh, in NBA 2K19. You know, he's made tweets about the shot meter, how people dribble as far as animation, as far as pro stick or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I guess he's trying to get a, he's trying to get an overall feel of how we want the game, which they said they was going to do that this game, which they didn't. <laughs> uh, nonetheless, um, here's a tweet that Mike Wayne actually tweeted out probably like an hour ago. It says like 51 minutes from here. It says, been seeing a lot of comments about this. Curious what the rest of the community thinks. On a scale of 1 to 10, how Arcadia should park play be? Reply and tell me what you want park gameplay to look like. It says, sim like real life somehow in between cartoony slash over the top. Um, I chose like real life. I actually told, I actually made it a tweet underneath that and said I actually like the 2K18 part. It just you know you got to update it and um, stuff like that. But what I also suggested with Park is that you have you still keep the neighborhood. Don't get rid of the neighborhood because that's a good thing. But what you want to do is you want to have four parks in one neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? And what I mean by that. Like, see how the, the, you see how the playground looks, you know what I'm saying, with the 3v3 courts and all that stuff. And you want to have one part like that, but you want to have it a 1v1 court. Make it, what, two, four, six, eight. Make it six or six to eight 1v1 courts. And then you can go to another park in the same neighborhood and all the courts are 2v2 courts. And you can go to another park in the same neighborhood. All the courts will be 3v3. And you go to another park. You can go to another park in the same neighborhood and all the courts in that park will be four uh, will be four versus four. And I think that'd be more beneficial. So, um, and the reason why I think it'd be more be more beneficial is because it's like, you don't have to wait on 2v2 games. You don't have to wait on 3v3 games. You know, you wanna play four on four, you can go to the fourth park. Then, um, you know, the bunch of people be on the fourth. And then also, you, they need to have it to where they can control, you can have up to like 80 to, I think they already had 80 people on the server, but you have it until you have like 100 people on the server, but make it more controlled as far as gameplay and all that stuff. Don't have it towards 100 people on the server, and with there being 100 people on the server, uh, it makes everything glitchy and all that. You know, take care of the, take, take care of the, they need to take care of the basic elements of their game, you know what I'm saying, which is the gameplay, the lag in the gameplay. They need to have a block in their engine or simulator or whatever it may be um so you that so they can um uh kick people out of parks or stop people trying to delay delay parks and all that stuff and they need to open up the servers i don't know how the server thing works i'm not tech technically well i don't have the technology um in, uh, to understand how you know the you can't be in the Chinese server versus you with a U.S. server. I don't understand that, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, it is what it is. But that was my um, that was my honest opinion about the park. I know a lot of people would like to take it back to 2K16 a little bit, 2K7, uh, 2K17, and 2K15. See, here, here's why I got a problem with that. Yeah, okay, it seemed cool, whatever, but let's be realistic. Um, you want something new, you know what I'm saying? Like, even if it is kind of like the same thing in a way, you want something new. You don't want to have the same feel as an old game, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's not the point of moving forward, um, moving forward with a video game, you know what I'm saying? That's the only thing that I have issue with. Like, I don't I don't want to go to a park and feel like 2K16. I want to go to a park and it feels like 2K19, something new, something different. Yeah, you can uh, kind of, you, you can kind of, uh, take a little take the theme of it a little bit but for the most part don't know I don't want to play the game 2k19 and I'm thinking I'm in a 2k15 park uh, mixed with a 2k17 park. I don't want that I want to I want to feel like well man this is a up this is an updated part which we all know that the parks are going to be updated it's not going to be it's not going to be uh, the same park that I finish just switch you know how they did on 2k17 and 16 like sunset got the well, 16 sunset ballers had the uh, Aquarium. It was daytime, and on 17 they had the same park, but it was nighttime. Like that's just laziness, you know. So I don't want that. But I mean, you like so you can have a you can have a cartoony to where you have uh, birds flying around. Like make it like a playground, a park, man. You know what I'm saying? That's that's all I ask. As far as uh, that's what I mean. As far as like the updated features, you know. So, but I think their main issue is going to be um, the lag once again. Um, uh, whatever they're doing to try to attempt to uh, cover up the lag I mean they need to do it better but I mean you can have a good part you can have all that but if the gameplay is not good then you know it's, it's gonna it's gonna suck like I think majority of the people didn't like the part but I feel as if 
those numbers would have decreased as far as who liked it and who, as far as who didn't, the numbers would have decreased as far as who did not like it if the park wasn't laggy how it was, you know? So that has something to do with it. You know what I'm saying? 2K17, I don't, the park really didn't lag that much. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 2K16, I don't really remember the park lagging really at all, but I wasn't there for the entire uh, stint of 2K16. I actually got the video game um, a month before 17 came out. But, I mean, like I said, y'all can make a comment in the comment section below how y'all feel about it. I think it's a good thing that they asking, that he's asking the community for the feedback, but will they do it? We don't know. You know what I'm saying? But I just feel as if they need to just update their update their parks. And um, I feel like there needs to be more than just one park. You know, you, if you want a neighborhood, you want to you wanna be able to run around the neighborhood. You don't want to be able to run down the same but same three streets over a course of 12 months. That, that gets boring. You know what I'm saying? If, okay, well, I know I got to run all the way around here, you know. They need to have it to where you, and if they have bikes and all that stuff in the playground, have it go fast. Like, don't have the bike go slow. You should have it with three speeds, slow, medium, or fast. You know how people like to, you know how people like to make videos about racing bikes and stuff like that. So hey, you know I, I just feel like um, I, I just feel like uh, everything you can put everything in the uh, into the, the the imaging of the, the the parks and stuff. But the gameplay sucks. You know people's gonna say the same thing, but. Tell me what y'all think, man. Leave a comment in the comment section below.